Hello and welcome to another podcast with me, Meiji. Um, today I am doing a podcast on um, my fr- my favorite band um, and what it's been like for me because according to Facebook, one year ago today, um, thanks to my dad's persuasion, I listened to Genesis, Genesis um, because like I was getting into Full Corners, I was getting back into Full Corners then, I was getting a bit more into Peter Gabriel and he said, why don't you listen to Genesis, I thought I might as well, I listened to a few songs and the first song I ever listened to was um, whatever was on Vivo, so and it was Land of Confusion, Land of Confusion is a song about how 80, how much, how, like, how confusing the 80s were, how packed it was with politics politics and war and stuff and yeah Phil Collins just Phil just wrote it wrote it to um get some summarise the eighties kind of like the mid eighties and here is I was pretty freaked out because it's um done my spitting image. Spitting image is a was a TV show that um specialised in taking the piss out of what was happening around them. And with puppets, and they used the puppets, and I was pretty freaked out by that. My first Jess's um, experience, and anyway, here, here we are.
that was Genesis Land and Confusion. Obviously, it was Genesis. This is a podcast about Genesis. Um, obviously, yeah, from that, I was hooked. That and Jesus, he knows me. Also, on that day, I listened to No Son of Mine that I'm not too keen on and Invisible Touch. Um, obviously, now, I don't like that song, song as much. It's a bit too poppy. And it's what my dad calls not Genesis. What he considers Genesis is Phil Collins on the drums, Mike Rutherford on bass, um, well, Mike Rutherford on guitar, Tony Hack- um, Steve Hackett on bass, Tony Hackett on keyboard, and Phil Collins on the drums, obviously, and, um, and Peter Gabriel on vocals. Peter Gabriel is, is the original singer, and this is what he sounds like in one of his better, one of Genesis' better songs. Time for lunch. Bum da dum de dum. When the sun beats down and I lie on the bench, I can always hear them talk. There's always been hell though. Jacob, wake up, we got a tiny room now. And then Mr. Lewis isn't a time that he was out on his own. That was just a taste of what Genesis is really meant to sound like. Um, I'm not. I like that. I like that song, but it's my favorite song of that era. I don't really like um, that era much. I prefer Phil Collins, Tony Banks, and Mike Rutherford um, because they're more the rocky, but they're poppy. That's too progressive rock. I prefer pop rock. Um, so, a little history about Genesis. Genesis started out in a all boys school. Um, then Pete, um, Phil Collins joined. Peter, Gab- Peter Gabriel left. Phil Collins um, became Lord, became vocalist, and boom, Genesis were a big, big band. Um, my favorite dress is all, song is all time is hard because there's a lot. There's like that's all. Turn it on again and a visible touch. Je- Jesus, he, Jesus, he knows me. Um, in too deep. They're all songs. Um, I think that are really good jazz songs and what 
Jersey's meant to be, but my favourite song of all time that I always love listening to is from the Vi Visible Touch album, Invisible Touch. So playing this out is Invisible Touch. I hope you kind of get on sound of Jersey's and why I like them. There it is. This is just it. Not poppy, but you still want to do it.